Hi, Neil Nadi here with the Blue Planet Project and doing a, a video blog from Cochabamba, Bolivia. And we've just come through three very intense days uh, of climate change, uh, climate summit, but also before that, uh, three days of celebrating the 10 years of the water wars uh, at the Feria del Agua here in Cochabamba. Many of you will know that Cochabamba is the heart of our movement in many ways because 10 years ago uh, was the start of the water wars where for months the people of Cochabamba protested against the uh, company Bechtel and uh, the policies of the World Bank and their own government at that time that were uh, forcing the privatization of water and an increase in tariffs of up to three, uh, three times their normal rate. People were in the streets from all classes, uh, all social movements, indigenous people, campesinos, with, uh, with um, the middle class. And this collectivity is uh, actually part of the, the fabric of, of what made the movement so powerful here in Cochabamba. And that continues today. There are many challenges in Cochabamba around water. It's very arid, as you might see with uh, the hills behind us. Uh, but still people here are working in a collective manner under social control mechanisms to try to deliver water uh, to the people of Cochabamba. It's particularly difficult in the south part of, the, of, of Cochabamba. And there was a tour there by the Red Vita members uh, two days ago to see how Samapa was, uh, was delivering water. Uh, actually, Asikasur uh, was delivering water, which is the collective that delivers water in, uh, in south uh, part of Bolivia. Now, uh, as I said, Cochabamba is the heart of our movement and it gave many possibilities to our movement. It showed that you could win, uh, that working collectively as social movements, you could win the struggle and throw out uh, a, a large multinational corporation as well as, um, as challenge the World Bank and these large institutions. So overall, uh, that began a movement around the world that we're all part of called the Water Justice Movement. It uh, spread to um, fights in Colombia, in, uh, in Argentina, in uh, even in North America and Africa, Asia, everywhere. And uh, many people still recount uh, what happened here in Bolivia as, as the beginnings of, uh, of a lot of this. And it actually has exposed to this neoliberal capitalist agenda uh, for what it really is, which is not about people, it's about profit. It's not about nature, certainly, or sustainability or the commons. It's about a system that uh, is unsustainable and will lead us uh, certainly to what we've seen around uh, the the imminent dangers of, of climate change. It's happening here right now. Cochabamba has many, many tropical glaciers that are disappearing. It's causing tremendous uh, uh, hardship for people. They are having to leave. And as uh, was stated in a, in a session earlier today, uh, this is, is actually driving people into cities where they're becoming part of the impoverished class and uh, leaving their culture behind, leaving a, a, a lifestyle that they've, um, they've been part of and a culture they've been part of for millennia. Uh, and instead being forced to be part of uh, an underclass in the cities and just scratching by to survive. This is happening around the world. It will increase with, uh, with climate change if we do not get a handle on, on true change here and begin uh, the processes and the investments to shift off of uh, these, uh, these carbon-based uh, um, uh, energy sources that we are using. Uh, it can be done. Many, many places around the world are showing how it can be done. And certainly we in the North have a, a, a great responsibility, not only for the impact, but to be part of the positive solution. So it's good to see some, um, quite a few uh, Northern people here. Uh, the volcano has, has uh, not allowed as many Europeans to join as possible. But there is an energy here and a spirit, uh, particularly talking about the rights of Mother Earth. Right beside me here is the, the room where for the last three days uh, there's been intense debate around the rights of Mother Earth. And this is uh, something that is supports the idea of the commons. It's also um, in, a, in a much deeper way, uh, around a uh, much deeper uh, form of, uh, of um, uh, process and uh, presentation than, than solely looking at human rights. And this is, I think, part of what we need to, to look at, is how do we make sure that we're not only talking about human rights, certainly a critical part of uh, social justice is talking about human rights, but beyond that, we have to look at the rights of Mother Earth. So as tomorrow is Earth Day, I think that uh, we have a great opportunity to launch from Cochabamba uh, outward and begin a, a true process of change that will lead us towards a sustainable future that we can uh, feel very good about and, and our children and grandchildren can live in a, in a much more sustainable, just world. Thank you.